Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf and weekly download episode number 113. Before getting into the tech and PC gaming news, huge shout out to FlexiSpot for sending me this sit and stand desk, which is the new centerpiece for the new weekly download set. Drop a comment down below what you think. I actually think it looks pretty good, so I want to hear from you guys. And on today's episode of Weekly Download, I'm going to be playing some Forza Horizon 3 when I give you this news. I got my cup of coffee right there. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you're sipping on. Let's get into it. Did that, did that really not work? Let's get into it. To kick off the tech news for the week, Intel formally introduced their new 9th generation processors this week, and honestly, it doesn't get as controversial as this. Before that though, Intel did announce their expected 8 core processors, the i9-9900K and the i7-9700K, and they also announced their 6 core Core i5-9600K. These processors will go on sale later next week, but please, please don't pre-order these things. You guys know that I didn't jump on the do not pre-order bandwagon that Nvidia just had with the RTX. RTX cards, but I'm jumping on it now. All around the web right now, you'll find people talking about how fake and dishonest the benchmarks are that Intel revealed. I don't want to get too into it because I could honestly make an entire video about it, but basically the company that Intel hired to conduct these benchmarks did an absolute terrible and dishonest job, and please don't even take these numbers with a grain of salt. This is the time to definitely be patient, not pre-order, and wait to see what the real benchmarks are from our favorite YouTubers. On that note, I don't think I'll be picking one up. My 8700 k is doing perfectly fine right now and I kind of want to wait for the 10 nanometer chips next year. Sticking with the new processor theme, along with these new processors, the market is now obviously flooded with the new motherboard, the Z390s. Over 50 Z390 motherboards are already available for purchase and I would also recommend checking out some of the top tech YouTubers to get reviews on those. Once again, sorry you won't be seeing this content from me, I just don't think the upgrade would be worth it right now. Moving on, Microsoft announced that they are currently testing yet another version of the Windows 10 October update this one presumably not deleting your files. If you didn't hear last week, I think I actually forgot to report about it, the Windows 10 October update caused some users to actually lose their personal data and as of right now it's still not recoverable. Microsoft has since blocked the update so that no one else will be affected and right now they're testing the new version on their Windows Insider program. In the wrap of the tech news for the week, G-Skill is now selling the first DDR4 memory sticks that hold 32 gigabytes of RAM on a single stick. Up until this point we've only ever seen 16 gigabyte sticks but G-Skill found a way to actually increase the size of the PCB and jam some more memory on there. These new bigger sticks are as of right now only compatible with three select Z390 motherboards, but I assume we'll see this technology more in the near future, not like I could afford that much RAM however. Moving on to the PC gaming news, I know I already reported on it before, but BlizzCon is now less than a month away, it starts on November 2nd if you didn't know, and if you pre-order a digital ticket then Blizzard will gift you 10 Hearthstone packs and the WoW Classic demo to download. Like I said earlier, I absolutely cannot wait to play WoW Classic. You'll be seeing a lot of it on the channel once that releases or maybe you won't. You honestly might not see any videos after that. Next up, I don't know whether to include this in the tech or PC gaming news, but 3D Mark Advanced Edition is now on a killer sale down to just seven bucks. 3D Mark also added a new Night Raid test, which is designed for devices with integrated graphics. I might actually use that soon, but you should definitely check out the advanced version if you're into benchmarking your PC. I use this software all the time, and it's pretty much a staple in today's world of synthetic benchmarks. Well, that wraps up weekly download episode number 113. Now feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet and definitely hit that subscribe button because next week we're benchmarking like I said possibly my favorite game of 2018. You don't want to miss that video.